think you should be What's going on YouTube? This is Frostbite here. Uh, this is going to be a little bit of a guide to farming volatile air and volatile life. Um, I'm just going to start out here. If you're on Alliance side, you'll be in Stormwind. This is the easiest way to get there. You'll fly down to Fort Livingston. If you're on the Horde, I'm not quite sure, but you probably can go to Rebel Camp or Explorers League Dig Site or there's always Booty Bay. But um, I'm going to fly down here, and as soon as I land, I'll start the video back up. Light bless you. And we're back. So as an alliance, we're in Fort Livingston. And what we're going to do is just hop on a mount. We are going to Zulgrub, and it's right there. The entrance to it is going to be right here so let's just fly up there real quick so you just kind of take off go a little north east i'm just going to keep showing you on the map that way you can actually know exactly what to do some people they don't some people do it's their preference Alright, so here we are at the entrance at Zulgarub. Um, not really sure if it matters or not, but I am definitely going to make sure. Uh, mine's reset because I did this earlier. But on the dungeon difficulty, set it to heroic. And that should just be all you have to do. I uh, see, look, you already have some people here. Okay, so we're in. The first thing you're going to do is, well, the only thing really, is you just turn directly to the left. Come down here a little bit. You're going to see this floor, flooring hive queen. Sorry, I can't pronounce it. So you're just going to kill her. It's a mini boss. Fall into the water. Loot. Now, what you're going to be looking for are the Hive Queen's Honeycomb. They're 100% drop rate and you right click and it gives you roughly four to seven of each. So you have four Twilight Jasmine, six Volatile Life, and I got four Volatile Air from that. And that's, that's pretty much it. Um, it's a rinse and repeat. The second thing I'm gonna show you is the Volatile Water. I'm not gonna actually do it, but I'm gonna show you uh, you have to go in the circle here, this entire circle, and kill all of these lost offspring of Gazranka. Once you kill those, I think the last one that you kill will drop. Uh, the first time I done it, I got about 18 volts of water. So if you know if you want to take a little bit more time and do it, then you can do it. So. Basically, like I said, it's just a rinse and repeat. You walk out of the instance. You reset, walk back in, kill, loot, go. 100% drop rate. Um, the only thing you're going to do or know is, you know, obviously it's going to kick you out eventually. So I got 10 before it kicks me out. And it usually takes me only about 50 seconds to run in and run out. Um, but that's that's it pretty much. Um, remember, it's just volatile air, some water if you want to get it, and life. And the Twilight Jasmine, of course. But that's just one step closer to getting that vial of sands. Well, it's been Frostbite. Take it easy. I really think you should.